I mean, you know, Ashley said she didn't know what a koozie was, so I went and I got one for you, Ashley. I said I was going to get a Channel 6 one for you. You know, you've been working here for about three months. This is my gift to you. Thank you. I stole <laughs> it off of Matt Lively's desk. <laughs> But I am gifting this to you since you didn't know what a koozie was. I right. appreciate You're it welcome. so much, um, <laughs> but I still want the bluebell koozie, I think. And ice cream is probably what a lot of you guys are going to want this weekend because just look at the seven day forecast only gets hotter from here. We're going to have triple digit heat for your Friday here in Central Texas, as well as the Brazos Valley. And then as you go into your Saturday and Sunday, sweltering heat with the chance for some of those showers. But we're still going to see some more dry days to start off this next work week. Once we get into your Wednesday and Thursday, that is when we could get a little bit of not only relief from the heat, but some much needed rain. And this is that drought monitor from last week. We needed the rain. We didn't get any and this is how it looks because of those drier conditions right now. We're seeing uh, many areas east of I-35 in that severe drought now and a moderate and then extreme and exceptional drought still in some of those western zones. So with that being said, I want to show you the burn ban map. Nothing has changed as we went go into this weekend. Every area in Central Texas still included in it as well as every area in Central Texas either in that heat advisory or that excessive heat warning. It's going to be in those areas east of I-35 where I have that excessive heat warning through the weekend. Heat advisory for those areas west of I-35, but we could still see those temperatures 105 plus degrees with those heat index values close to 110 this weekend. So as we go into this morning, we're already seeing the humidity impacting us as we head out the door. We're seeing those temperatures in the 70s, but with that humidity in play, it's feeling like 85 degrees as you head out and about in Waco. 81 one for Marlins Friday afternoon or Friday morning, excuse me, 83 over in College Station. And as we go into the rest of your Friday morning, it only gets hotter from here with those temperatures at that triple digit plus mark by the time you head home from work. Definitely going to want to have the AC blasting as you get into those cars because look at this toasty by all means actually going to feel much more like you're in an oven going into that car because we're going to see that those heat index values up to 109 heading home today. Here's what's on deck as we go into the weekend. We're going to have that high pressure continue to center over us for tomorrow. Going to contribute to those excessively hot temperatures for your Saturday and Sunday. But then as we get closer to the middle of next week, that high pressure is going to move out further west and that's going to drop those temperatures just a bit. Now, not only are we going to have those excessively hot temperatures for your Saturday and Sunday, we also have the chance that we could see some of those showers as well as thunderstorms for your Saturday afternoon as well as your Sunday afternoon. Any rain we could get because of the triple digit heat could contribute to some of those damaging wind gusts. Now, the better heat, the better chance for rain, I should say, is going to come on Wednesday afternoon as well as on your Thursday. And that's really what's going to help these rainfall totals increase any rain that we could get next week. Not looking very very impressive, but hey, with the dry spell that we have been seeing all month long, any chance for showers is music to everybody's ear this morning.